Okay, so it hadn't occurred to me to record this at all, but just halfway through it, and I'm thinking somebody else might have this problem. So this is the worm drive motor of a SPID RAU rotator, which is here. Um, which has been outside for about four years and has suddenly stopped working. I can't say I use it very much, but um, it stopped working. So to remove the worm drive motor, you undo this Jubilee clip, split the collars, take the bolts out for the lid and then remove the motor. It's quite simple to remove. And because I'm, if I get it to work, I'll show you in reverse. So um, apologies for not showing the deconstruction. Anyway, once I got the motor off, I found that, uh, I don't know if you can see in there, but the seal's obviously failed. It's supposed to have a drain hole on it, um, which has become blocked or whatever. Certainly not working. Water's got in there, and um, it was seized solid. I've now managed to free it off, so it's actually turning again. So I'm hoping there's been no damage to the actual coils. The magnets seem okay inside. Well, it is very badly rusted. It's a steel case. It was encased in this, which has got a drain hole in it. And I'd noticed rust coming out the bottom of it. So that fits onto this through that hole there. It looks to me like that hole has got blocked with gunk and then it's just locked it solid so whether this will be recoverable or not I cannot say so I'll clean it off with brake cleaner clean out the inside of that put it back together at least it's now it wasn't apologies for the filming but I say it wasn't turning so now you can see it's moving freely So that's freed off. So whatever was holding it solid, I'm guessing it was this here. A new motor is £150 more or less. So it's just a 12 volt DC motor with a worm drive attached, but it's £150 for a replacement. Would you believe it? Would you Adam and Eve it? All right, I'm going to clean it up, see what happens. I guess we shall see. We shall see. Yeah, you can see what happens. There's a steel container at the bottom it's just water's got in this has been blocked and it's just corroded away yuck anyway let's see what happens i just try lubricant with a bit of this don't shout and say it's the wrong stuff it doesn't really matter the motor is toast anyway it's 150 quid for a new one what have i got to lose let's give it a try okay with much silicon grease applied uh, the armature is steel or something and the magnets really pull it in so uh, it's gone back in the wires are near the worm drive they need to fit these clips back in which is a simple job he says go across there like that and into there and then the screws go back in there are two screws here we'll see if it works a bit fiddly I'll get back to you when I've got all that in place. Then we'll apply 12 volts, see if it rotates. If it doesn't, nothing lost. If it does, a £50 gain. Maybe. Goes <laughs> back in's a bit tricky. But uh, finally, I think I've got it. All right, all that remains now is to apply some power, see whether it works again definitely freed off it was sea solid 
but um depends what damage has been done to the windings the windings looks okay as the armature really you can see the corrosion here and uh, i'll have to fit this back on somehow reseal it let's see if it works first Oh, hey, hey, look at that. Back in the game. Ha ha, 150 quid saved. Brilliant. I'll clean all this gunk up. Figure out how to reseal that and make sure that stays clear. All right, it might not last forever, but I should get another summer out of it. Works that way, does it work that way? Yep. Genius, not. Right, that drain hole and that drain hole need to align. I think I'll seal that with self amalgamating tape and then we'll make absolutely certain that that drain hole Yeah, it's need quite a bit of work on the ceiling side of it. Let's face it, it didn't actually work anyway. So. Okay, well, I'm going to put some ACF 50 in there. But uh, there was some sealant here, which is what failed, just let the water in. So I think the number one thing really is to use the motor at least once a week and make sure that drain hole is clear. But uh, we'll put some of this in it. I let it soak for a while. Spin. Spin that ACF 50. Guess is that the water got in through there when the sealant failed and uh, the drain hole on the bottom corroded until it was blocked. Okay, so disclaimer I'm going to put this at the front of the video. Um, I took this apart. I had no intention of making a video about it and I just thought well maybe it'll be of use to somebody else. Um, basically the electric motor was seized solid um, so I've taken it apart which you'll have seen or you'll see later. I'm now going to reassemble this so basically to disassemble it is the opposite. Basically you need to remove this from the side. I had to cut this case off do this at your own risk. I did it because I thought this was going to have to be thrown out or at the very least a new motor for £150 would have to be bought but as it's turned out I think I've got away with it. To get into this you have to remove all these bolts and the screwdriver undo the jubilee clip. It's loose because I'm now putting it back together. Remove the two halves of the seal. The seal actually does work unlike the one on the motor then the bolts removed there that's welded in there are a couple of self tappers here from that. Ignore that as the spur nuts and bolts. So the, the trouble with this one is to get at the screws where the motor goes, the motor fits here. To get at those, unfortunately you have to remove this plate because it's in the way. That plate will come out. So, very greasy and horrible, and you can see the worm drive in here, which is not seized, very smooth flowing. There's been no water in there, so that's worked. Uh, the sealing on that works. Unfortunately, the sealing on the motor, not so. So the motor fits on the side of here, and now you can access the screws 
that fit inside there which I put in there. So these screws go through there and tighten up. It's a bit awkward. But before you can do that, you need to make sure this spline is lined up with that pulley. really not a good system this. When you get the motor right it actually sits properly, I had it on wrong. Also make sure the drain hole is underneath. That's better. And I'll now tighten it up. Okay. As I say this is a stupid location to put a screw. So you have to Tighten it up at an angle. On there. Okay, third time lucky, putting it in the right position. <laughs> Had to check the photographs. Oh, these screws are stupid design, but anyway, we will get there. Yeah, so your positioning is like that. Yeah, that drain hole would be better over there, so I need to rotate that. It's my fault of thinking about it. I've put that cap back on the wrong way. Look, damn. Oh hey, well. Reassembling that drain hole needs to be at the end that pokes out. I've got it the wrong way around, so I have to redo that. I've got it the wrong way around, I have to redo it. Okay, so I've got my drain hole oriented properly so that it's at the bottom. Pain, something to watch out for. Basically, your drain hole wants to be in alignment with the jutting out part of the motor. I had to take it all apart again to do that. Um, I'm not going to put that cover back on because I don't think it does anything much. I might self amalgamate tape and seal these afterwards, but let's just get it working first. The trouble with that case that was around the outside is you don't see this corrosion that's happening because it's underneath it. So I think I'll be better to seal these separately. Water's going to get in anyway. The main thing is to keep this drain hole clear, which I think was blocked and that's what's caused the problem. Okay, don't try this at home kids, but a quick test before we uh, go any further. Oh yeah, everything's working. Do that, let's put it back together. So, this slides in at an angle. Just realise that bolt goes that side because that's double thickness. Everything's awkward on this. So, slightly longer bolt there, slightly shorter bolt there, this one tied up on the outside.
Next up, reinstall the control interface. Which I think goes like that. And you one, two, three, four wires coming through there on this one. This one comes out via the gland here. Okay, so I've installed all the control wires as they were, cover back on. I'll seal this motor later on. Let's, uh, let's just see if it works. I'll have to go upstairs for this. So. Okay, so it's slightly a bit noisier, so I'll seal those and I'm going to leave this uncovered because I don't think there's anything to be gained by having that cover on other than it trapping water and I can keep my eye on it better. All seems to be working fantastic. So rather than replacing this cover that I had to cut off, I've decided to go with self amalgamating tape around the joins on there, which is at least as good as that would ever be. Uh, I've used some liquid tape to try and fill the hole where the water's been getting in um, but let's be honest water will always get into a metal cylinder like that the main thing will be to keep an eye on this drain hole which you can do far better without this in the way so hope that helps let's see whether it will turn the antenna now there it is back in position I suppose before I tidy everything up I should give it a try so. Back to north. All seems good so far. Yeah, so it's a little bit noisy than it was, probably because of the removal of the cover, but I can uh, keep my eye on it better. It's as sealed as it ever was. Hope that was some help. I'm going to tidy it all up now.